Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist, and in this video I will show you how to use the floating toolbar in Smart Notebook 10.0. The floating toolbar is best to be used with other applications outside of Notebook 10.0. Basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to have many of the same features that you have in Notebook 10.0 in other applications. For example, you can write notes, um, and use some of the different tools on the internet or in a Word document or even a PDF. Let me kind of show you how it works. I'm going to go to a website and the floating toolbar is over here on the left and if I click on the arrows it expands it. Now um, notice I, there's a pen tool and it comes in a variety of colors. I can make notes and write on the internet. When I do that you'll notice around the outside edge a ink layer appears. The ink layer is a temporary layer of ink. It's not exactly the same as if you were writing in Smart Notebook because that pretty much just stays right there. This one is a little tricky. If I try to scroll down, it's not going to let me scroll down until my ink layer is finished. So I'm going to have to uh, do my highlighting, do my writing, and then when I'm ready to do something else, I basically need to come up here to the top right and close the ink layer with a little X. Now I'm allowed to do other things. So kind of practice with that ink layer to get the hang of it. Um, there's some other tools available on here. I really like the magnifying glass. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to, but it's pretty neat. One of the things I use it for is when I'm teaching a class and I want students or adults to come to a website, I can ex expand that so that they can see the URL really easily from far back in the room. So I think you'll enjoy playing with the magnifying glass. It's a, it's a nice tool to have. Um, there's some other tools available on here. Let me show you how you can customize your toolbar. There's a little gear at the bottom, and when you click on the gear, a wide, wide variety of different tools are available to you. It's pretty simple to add to your, um, your toolbar. You can just take a, uh, one of the pins and, or one of the items and just drag it and drop it onto your toolbar. If you decide you don't want it, you can simply take it and drag it off. So you can customize your toolbar. Um, it has a wide variety of the same tools that are available in Smart Notebook 10.0. Let me show you one that I kind of think is pretty nice, and it is the, there's a screen capture here, an area capture. So if there's something on the internet that you want to um, take a little, basically like a screenshot of, you click on the camera, and then you can draw around the section that you would like to get. Well, didn't do very good on that. But what it does is it takes a little shot of it, and it will put it on a separate page in Smart Notebook software. Notice right here, here it is. So you can use that for instructional purposes quite a bit. Now, uh, another thing that when you're finished using your toolbar, if you're like me, I really don't like it always out there, you can simply come over here to the icon down in the system tray. It's the smart board icon. You click on it and you can hit hide floating tools. It's really easy. Now let me show you how the floating tools work in a uh, PDF document. Go to get those right back up. And it really works very, very similar, same way. So I wanted to kind of show you that it does work in a variety of applications. I can highlight things. I can erase items. Um, I can draw. There we go. Whoops, not a very good arrow. Let me go back to the to that. Now watch what happens when I scroll down. The drawing goes away. So keep that in mind as you're working with other applications that if you're using the floating toolbar, those marks are not permanent. Now in Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and Excel, there is a little bit of a different feature that you'll be learning in a different video. I hope you enjoyed the video about the floating tools. I think you'll find them very useful. Thanks for watching.